Hello. Welcome to our Today's a Okay. Celebrating births and beginnings that are really important since the dawn of time. October 4th. All day. Oh, on the other knee. From one knee to the other knee. He's got needs. <laughs> Not funny. Sorry. Okay. Anyway, 1895. Uh, the stone face himself, Mr. Buster Keaton, was born. Who didn't own any of his own shtick. You gotta own your own shtick. Otherwise, where are you gonna keep your stuff? Doesn't make any sense. I'm not making any sense today. Uh, but neither did Buster Keaton's career, because he created all sorts of wonderful, um, transcendental, uh, uh, motion pictures, and died basically penniless. And, uh, uh, his legacy lives on through the likes of the Marx Brothers, I suppose, because he taught the Marx Brothers everything he knows. Um, but uh, there were so many other film film stars, filmmakers, in the um, teens and, I guess, 20s, who their names aren't even remembered today. So, okay, yes, he should have... A little more, had a little more comfortable of a life, for certain. But uh, his legacy will live on uh, with the films he made. So it's always that. <laughs> I, but my point is, like, I have this really great silent film. Uh, I can't get it right now. I've got a puppy on me. But I've got this great silent film book that's filled with all sorts of names of people you've just never heard of in your life who were, like, huge stars in, like, the World War One era. People like John Bunny. Who was this? He looks like he was a very successful comedian. And yet, like, there's not even, like, the slightest bit of name recognition. All the way up there, I've got this really great Movie Land Kino card game. Also, 20s stuff. Um, not even, like, teens. Um, where, like, okay, you've got your John Gilberts, and you've got your Greta Garbos, and you've got your Lon Chaney's. But then there's, like, a whole, most of the character cards are, like, names you've just never heard of. So, uh, yeah, legacy, Buster Keaton, all the way, October 4th, 1895, A Trip to the Moon, the film that is truly out of this world, premiered today, 1902, George Millay, one of my faves. Yeah. Uh, Pete, Mad Daddy Myers, born today, 1928, ooh, you know, if I looked at this ahead of time... I um, probably would have done a little bit of research. That didn't happen. None of that happened. But he actually lived here in New York at the end of his life. And I was trying to do some research by the likes of Miriam Lina and her ilk um, to figure out just where that, that last place of residence was, which I believe was on the Upper West Side, maybe very close to where the Cramps, um, Lux and Ivy first uh lived in New York City. Imagine that. They could have been just down the road a piece. Anyway, Bad Daddy. If you never heard his uh radio nonsense, get on it. Tune in. It's excellent. The Vampire Lovers premiered today, nineteen seventy. Ingrid Pitt, great stuff. And uh there's even more female trouble in John Waters film Female Trouble. 1974, premiered. So, that's the whole day. It seems like it's uh, a good day to turn on television and um, put on a good movie, because you've got lots of great options. Or don't, and just watch whatever's streaming on some AI-powered uh, shuffle device, right? Boo, hiss, boo, no thank you. Make up our own minds. On October 4th, and every day thereafter.